This is a demonstration of the Everun product. Through this demo, we'll be seeing how the Everun software protects applications and how you can manage the Everun configuration by using the Everun Availability Manager, which you're seeing here on this screen. You can see here from the initial dashboard that there currently are no outstanding issues, meaning that both nodes are up and running and the system is running fine, with all virtual machines running fine as well. As you look down the left-hand side, you'll see there are a number of areas that you can either uh, look at to see if there are any issues going on or to control some elements of the configuration. If we click on the system button as an example, you'll see that you can see some of the activity running across each of the nodes of the servers. The Preferences tab allows you to set many parts of the configuration. Things like adding or subtracting a product license, changing the IP configuration, or setting up things like split site with the quorum servers can be managed through this screen. Also, you can see that through a, an alert notification mechanism, we can enable alerts allowing for um, problems that would occur to be sent back to either Stratus or to a designated employee in your company. This tab allows you to view the physical servers that comprise the Everun configuration. And you can see here as I click on this on the right hand screen we're seeing that the two nodes, node 0 and node 1, are running and their state is all green. On the lower part of that screen, you can see that there are a number of things that you can also view about the physical nodes, such as the network. You can see here that on each of the physical nodes, you've got a certain number of network adapters that are part of the configuration. Also, if I click on the network tab on the left-hand side, you can see that as I browse through each of the network adapters associated with the systems that there's a graphic on the bottom that explains where each of those is configured physically in each of the nodes of the system. And if I hover over any of these it gives you more information about that particular network adapter. If I click on the virtual machines tab you'll see that it's showing us which virtual machines are configured onto this server. Also you'll notice here on the current physical machine there's a designation of a double arrow that shows for this particular virtual machine where it's currently active. Now keeping in mind that there are active components on both physical nodes for that particular virtual machine namely storage and network adapters. Similarly, if I click on the other virtual machine, you'll see that there are double arrows saying that it is actually active on the secondary node. And that's because the Everun software is load balancing these two virtual machines across the two nodes, but protecting them with full fault tolerance as being shown here in the protection. You can also do things like change the load balancing by clicking on this and selecting whether you want a particular virtual machine to actually uh, be active on one node or the other by default. Or you can allow it, as we're seeing here, be load balanced automatically by the Everun software. If we click on the volumes, you can see that there are um, some number of volumes associated with each of the virtual machines. And if we click on the Networks tab, you can see that the network configured into each of these virtual machines is displayed as well. So for part of the demonstration, what I'm going to be doing here is putting up a video that's actually streaming onto my desktop locally here, but that file that's being streamed is coming off of one of these FT um, virtual machines, namely this one right here. So. The proof point is that while this video is streaming off the protected virtual machine, I'm going to be injecting failures onto the physical nodes. 
and demonstrating that the video will continue to run because the Evron software has taken care of the fault and ensuring that the applications continue even, at the, even though there have been failures at the physical level. So to do that, what I'm going to do is execute a command that actually takes down the network adapter. And you'll notice that when I do that, there's an error that pops up on the screen from the Everun Availability Center. And that is showing that a failure of the network has occurred. So if we go to our dashboard, you'll see that there will be an error that comes up saying that that um, device has failed. And there it is. Also, you'll notice here, if I go back to the virtual machine, you'll see that whereas this particular virtual machine was running on the second node, it is now running on the first node. And that's because I failed the network adapter on the second node. And therefore, the Everon software, identifying that failure, has gracefully moved over the active virtual machine onto the first node where it's got all working elements. Now what also happens is if I recover that device physically, what you're going to see is that the Everun software will again identify that as a good network adapter and not only will it move the virtual machine back over onto the other node to load balance the virtual machines again, but also, it's going to clear up our error, right? Where we had an error before saying that there was a failed network connection. Now that error will be cleared in such that if we look at our dashboard, we'll see that there's no outstanding issues again. 